Are we on? Did we press I it? I pressed it. Oh, okay. It's been pressed. Oh, hi. Hi, good morning. Good morning. I was just wondering if anybody has two twin beds that they would be willing to trade for a king. <laughs> there, Anyone? There was... Let me know. There was a row last night. Or, or I had another thought. Uh, plexiglass. You know the new plexiglass that they've installed at the grocery stores? There's a what divider if, in the bed. What if we installed plexiglass to the headboard? I was literally no, 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 no. There were pillows. We're only going to talk about solutions. There were violent. Okay. We're only going to talk about solutions. Okay. Solutions. Solutions. Solution oriented. Yeah. Orientated. Oriented? Yeah. Solution oriented. Plexiglass would be one. Maybe a pillow as a runner. Like, you know how you have runners on tables? No, we already have. We already know whose side is whose. And if people just stay on their own side of the bed. So it's like building a fence to have better neighbors. Or just having... Just sleeping on your own side of the bed. Sometimes, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, solutions. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Not assaulting people in the middle of the night. There was retaliation. <laughs> we were talking about solutions, though. Solutions. What was yesterday? Ah, uh, Saturday. Saturday and... What happened 18 years ago, <gasps> yesterday? Yesterday, because it was a Saturday. Nana came over and told us. Nana we were came over. <laughs> sitting outside having coffee. It was a Saturday. Nana came over with presents. And 18 years ago, on a Saturday, on that Saturday, she was reminding us that we got married. And she was decorating the was decorating hall at the restaurant. restaurant. And she was saying how sweaty she was. She said it was more work than she thought it was. More would work than... And I thought... Who were we that we let your mom decorate the restaurant by herself? Self-centered. What's wrong with us? <laughs> yeah. And what else did we do last night? We went for a drive yes. downtown. I don't like. Are we allowed to do that? I don't want to break the law. Uh, we took a drive downtown into the market just mm-hmm. to see, and it, it was barren, lonely. It was. All isolated. We drove by the homeless shelters Mm -hmm. and uh, had a little word of prayer and Mm -hmm. thought of how hard that would be because they're all together. There was a lot of police downtown. And then we found a, because a lot of stuff isn't open, but we found a, we found a poutine or no, we found a a mac and cheese. You're speaking moistly, by the way. I'm sorry. (laughs) We found, I got excited about the mac and cheese. We found a mac and cheese window right on Rideau Street. Um, Do you know what they're called? And we said, let's support local at 11 o'clock at night. They're called Midnight Mac and Cheese. Midnight Mac and Cheese. Uh, We had the... Is this confession time? Are you going into a confession time? I think there's a bit of confession. But I had the uh, chip truck mac and cheese, which is mac and cheese with hot dogs, like cut up hot dogs, cheese curds, and gravy. Rah, let's go to bed. No wonder I woke up. No wonder things happened last night. Oh my goodness, I'm just putting the puzzle pieces you're blaming, together. You're blaming the mac and cheese now? Solutions, solutions, solutions. Let's not eat mac and cheese <laughs> with gravy, churds, churds, creeds, church, cheese, cheese curds. curds. <laughs> Does Lexia won that round? Cheese curds and gravy. Yeah. Bad. I feel like bad we need news. to read something. Let's, let's get our holy on. <laughs> Welcome to Sunday, and if you're watching before our service starts, we start at 4 p.m. on Facebook and YouTube, and uh, we have a little Zoom room. So join us at 4 p.m. as we worship our Lord and Savior together. When they have to go to, they would go to Union City Church on Facebook. YouTube and Facebook, yes. Yes. Union City Church. Guess what today is called? (laughs) Resisting Negativity. Mm. 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 Solutions. Solutions. Some people are carriers of negativity. They are storehouses of pent up anger and volatile emotions. Some remain trapped in the victim role and act in ways that further their victimizations. Oh my goodness. And others are still caught in the cycle of addictive or compulsive patterns. Negative energy can have a powerful pull on us, especially if we're struggling to maintain positive energy and balance. It may seem that others who exude negative energy would like to pull us into the darkness with them. We do not have to go. Without judgment, we can decide it's okay to walk away, okay to protect ourselves. We cannot change other people. 
It does not help others for us to get off balance. We do not lead others into the light by stepping into the darkness with them. Today, God, help me to know that I don't have to allow myself to be pulled into negativity, even around those I love. Help me set boundaries. Help me know that it's okay to take care of myself. Mm. Taking care of yourself. Amen. I think that's great because negativity has a pull. And so when I kind of start a prayer meeting, I'm, I usually ask, like, what are we grateful for? Mm -hmm. Because I think everybody in every room that we can ever go to would have 10 to 15 to 20 things that they're not grateful for or that you could complain, complain about. about. <laughs> and it's like everything in this life that we know, everything has come from God, is from God, and is for us to have his good in our lives, our recovery. And so we can just give praise to him in a very simple form. I think it's the highest form, but simple is what are we grateful for? And I think that's what uh, pulls us away from negative, the negative, the powerful pull mm -hmm. of negative. And so once you start, if I say the word yellow, you're going to think yellow. And if I start to become negative, what happens when somebody becomes negative? Either one, you're like, I have to leave this room because the energy is being sucked out of me. Or you, in turn, talk negatively, act negatively, and become negative. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think it can be hard to realize when when you're the one that's in like a spiral of negativity. I think, and mm -hmm. that's right. Like it's so easy to. So you like, need somebody to slap you out of it. Oh my gosh, that's the joy of being married. Like in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> you know but i think that i so i think that we can't change other people yeah. but um and it really you know like it it said it doesn't help us to get off balance but i think that you know finding a way to to be truthful in love and i think that's one of the joys of 18 years of i mean really we're on 23 years or something of so how do you how do you navigate negative people because it's saying at the end it says we do not lead others into light by stepping into the darkness with mm -hmm. them which is an interesting concept well and i think i was just thinking of it like from my own perspective of like when i've gotten into like a, a, sp a pattern Spiral? a pattern maybe of you know feeling really down and feeling really negative and not being able to focus on what i'm grateful for or what's good um because not I've to out you, but you would deal, you you succumb to anxiety more yeah. than yeah. I do. Yeah. And so that, yeah. that becomes so a pattern. And so I think what I can recognize is that I've had moments in my life where people have said really hard things to me and it's easier to dismiss them as being jerks as opposed to, can I just like take a moment and what if there's like, what if there's an ounce of truth in this? What if there's some truth in what is being said? And should I take a moment to look at that? And is there something that I can do differently? And, you know, even if it feels like the person has been really harsh or or whatever, and it's hard to take, is there an ounce of truth? And is there something different that I need to do to get out of this? Am I in a, in a pattern or mm -hmm. am I in a place of... You know, am I not seeing myself how other people see me? And I think it's really hard to see ourselves as how but, we So really then that's are. different than, like, I think that there's people that are negative all the time where you're talking about somebody in a negative pattern that I know, isn't but, usually negative. But how do you navigate somebody that is I think that there's constantly hope negative. for people who are negative all the time and that we need to pray for those people yeah. for them to be released, for them to see truth and for them to be released from that pattern. Because I think we can have people in our lives who are those people, but some of us are going to be those people. But what does the Bible say <clears throat> about a gossip mm. or like correcting mm -hmm. a mocker or a fool? It's like, that's hard when you have to be like, okay, mm -hmm. you're negative and I can't be around that. Mm -hmm. Um, or like, how do you navigate that? Like, so you can't just I abandon. Was just, I was just bringing up the point of, as a human on this planet interacting with other humans, it's a such a great human, by the valuable way, valuable tool to take. You know, even if what people are saying to me 
or if I can't figure out why someone has cut me off or if I can't figure out why they're, you know, is it, does it, is it wise to once in a while look at what people have said and maybe examine if there's a bit of truth to it, mm-hmm. right? Because the people who really do care about us, they're, they are, you know, they are in healthy ways. They're going to resist negativity mm-hmm. and, you know, remove themselves from a situation rather than entering into darkness and so if somebody is a healthy person and i can recognize that i should ask myself like wait a minute what is it you know i should value their feedback Mm -hmm. i should actually be willing to be humble and go to them and say like hey when you said this that was really hurtful what did you mean like Mm -hmm. you know can i get to a place if i actually don't want to stay stuck if i actually don't want to stay stuck then maybe I want to engage some of those harder conversations. And because I just, I really feel like people, nobody wants to be stuck in a pattern of negativity. It's probably more work to be negative than to oh, be. Oh, it's got, it's exhausting. And positive and joyful. And exhausting. It's not peaceful. It's not restful. No. There's no contentment. And I, I think there's a, there's a deep sorrow that we can kind of in love enter in with people prayerfully at, but not step into darkness with them mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and so is there a distinction there because i just i'm not a fan of that whole like this person's toxic and i'm gonna just cut them out like yeah i don't I that's don't, not super loving it's not loving and it's not kind but and, then my mom says when i was young if you hang out with those people <laughs> you're gonna be and it's true when you think you act and so if you're getting caught up with negative people, I guess that yeah. would be the. And I mean, that's that whole, we see it all the time. Like, why don't people relapse alone? Mm. Why does an addict always want to take someone else down with them? Like, come on. <laughs> like, I see both. But yeah, you? like once you start getting into the pattern of negativity, of feeling sorry for yourself, mm. and then us as uh, substance abuse people, we get to a certain point where we need ease and comfort mm. now. And, and oh, with man. our disease, we don't have the choice not to do that. He's in comfort. Um, the last time I took a drink, it wasn't my choice. And people don't understand that. Right. But I do have the potential not to get to that point with positive thinking, doing step work, doing the things that nourish me so that I don't get to that emotional state where I need ease and comfort and my, my mind and my body take over. So the last time you took a drink, it wasn't your choice. Were your choices a few steps before that? Did you have choices? Yes. Relapse comes right? at the end of not taking care of myself. Hmm. Comes out of compliance and not surrender. And to surrender, I need the power of God in my heart to go, I want recovery, not that I have to do recovery. Hmm. Oh, going down a rabbit trail on that one. Hmm. Do you have the choice to drink or not? Hmm beautiful the real alcoholic would not have the choice to drink it's not my choice Hmm. and on that we should run away (laughs) all right round two of coffee and uh have a great sunday have a great afternoon and uh god bless you peace and love you can hit subscribe and positivity oh yeah subscribe subscribe on youtube and follow um and share yeah because youtube is kind of my favorite place for this to be going and uh and so if you go to youtube Ashes to Rubies and subscribe, and then you can get them there, and maybe we don't have to fo- post them on Facebook anymore. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <Mwah. laughs> We're just doing this for us.